fuel uh, ripping out, whatever that thing's called. This is the final part of how to single turbo the Legacy. Um, there is four wiring changes you've got to do when using the version 5 and 6 uh, ECU. One is the fuel pump controller bypass, one is the fuel pump relay bypass, uh, or grounding, sorry I should say. The other one is a, I've got a Mac 3 point boost solenoid that needs wiring in, there's a change to that as well. And the fourth one is the ignition wiring. The ignition wiring on a GTB is a sequential ignition four coil packs. The WRX or SCI version five and six runs a wasted spark, so you've got to change the wiring from the ECU to fire wasted spark. It's all really simple stuff, can be done with basic crimping or even the solder sleeves that I'm using. Um, yeah, I'll walk you through it now. Behind here is the fuel pump controller. You need to bypass this. I'm using the uh, version 5.6 WRX ECU or STI ECU link. And it doesn't run one of these and neither does the WRX standard ECU. It does not run this fuel pump controller. So strip this down, take that off, see the module there. I can unclip it, I'll show you a bit better. That's that, don't need that. Push that harness through here. And then spread these out. You're joining red to white and black to black. And that is it, that's all the mod you gotta do with that one. And we'll cap that green one off. That's bypassed. Now, a tip, this is what I do anyway. You know if you ever want to go back to stock, you don't know which is which, I cut them at different lengths. So then you'll know, even if you make a mistake, that that one went there, that one went there. Moved. So the loom's stripped down. Still got your five colours. They still need to be plugged in. Green just heat shrunk round, so black to black, and I'll just pop a bit of heat shrunk over one of them. Try and let that cool down nice and straight. That's it anyway, done. So black to black, red to white, cap off your green, and then we'll tuck that back behind there, nice and neat. Next wiring job is you'll need a spare pin. We've got to repin the fuel controller. Um, this, this one here, this wire, this green and yellow one, is unused. It's pin 110 on your gray connector. So what you've got to do is pull that little white block down and get like an extraction tool or something. You need to slot that in the top, and at the same time, it's holding that in. So I can do this with one hand. I'm gonna press that against, and a bit of pressure on the pin, not a lot. The pin should come out. There we go. Right, that's the pin. We need the pin, so we're going to cut this off here. But just to double check, got this all set up. We're going to just check that this goes to an unused connector. Clamp that on there. Got my belly knot cable. I'm pretty certain that, where are we? This plug here is most of your um, black box of death that pin. Just put that in there. It's going to fall out. Right, I'm going to need two hands first. But if I hold them together, bell that out, that'll beep. There we go. That pin down there. 
focus, come on. You can hear the beep, it's that one, that is unused. Because that is one of the pink cables from your black box that is not used, so we can reuse that pin. Right, just put chopping off, whatever. There we'll do. Because all we want is that pin. We've got to join that to a new bit of wire. This is the unused yellow and green cable with the ECU crimp. And it needs to go into pin 21 uh, on the black connector on here. The, the connector colors are not always going to be the same, but it's this left hand connector if you're looking at it like that. You've got to pull this white clip out again. And then pin 21, if I get close enough to show you, location is in there. Let's get me, get me, uh, pin. It is. that one anyway i'm going to pop that in there and i haven't cut this to length because this cable's got to go over to underneath underneath the steering wheel i'll, pl I'll plug that in and we'll go under there okay i want to start with something i've made a mistake on and this the mistake is because of the guide there's a guide that says to use a pin um 110 for your uh fuel uh ripping out whatever that thing's called your fuel relay it's under your steering column there's a there's a guide that says to use pin 110 if you use pin 110 i'll show you it's a slightly wider pin than the position you're trying to fill so i've just bailed it out found it is 110 does go over there to the black box that you don't need which is fine but then it doesn't fit in the new hole it might do on yours i'll show you so i've instead used pin 62 which is a pin for the differential pressure sensor Right, if we go down here, pin 62 is on this blue connector, and for me it was the blue cable, it might not be for you, and it's the one just down, so it's there. That is pin 62, and that has a slightly, slightly thinner opening. See, some of these are a bit thicker, so there's a thinner one. So, what you need to do, take that pin out, which I have done, um, and then just solder another cable onto the back of it. And that pin is going to go over to the, over here. And it goes into slot 21 as if it was a WRX. So it goes this side, second row up, there. Yeah. Lovely. Zoom in just on that. Yeah, so you can see where the new cable goes that hole there and that is on the furthest left plug the pin um the cables and the plugs are not a reliable source for color so just go on the location and the location is on your ecu this connector here pin 21 that pin that's what you need to add and you run that cable over to underneath the steering column what we've got here is the plug for the fuel pump relay. You know it's the right one. There's two relays here. It's the bottom one of the two and the four cables come out of it. Red, black stripe, black, blue stripe, green, red stripe and black. The body normally is the earth for this plug. We don't need it to be, it's that pin 21. So we've extended pin 21's cable I've thrown it over the middle. It's too long at the moment, but I'll find out where it goes. And we need to join them together so the earth will be, then be back at pin 21 over on the ECU, not to the body where that one goes. For the start of the ignition mod, you need to find pin 1, 8, 15 and 20. Now, on the left hand side plug, it's the third row in. And that one there, that cable is 1. So that is correct for one of your coil packs. And then it goes straight down from there. 
so I have just cut them. So one, that one's eight, that one's eight. That one's 15 and this one's 20. And what you need to do is join, not these halves, but these halves of the cable. So join what was pin eight onto pin one. So those two will be together. And then you join pin 15 and pin 20. I'm gonna pull them out of this loom. 15 and pin 20, join them together and reconnect them to pin eight. That's why I've left pin eight longer. So one and eight will go to one and 15 and 20 will go to eight. I'll try my outlook neat. Hopefully I'm gonna try and show you this best I can. Just using B136 plug, this one. I've got the pin one, which I haven't cut yet, which I need to, and pin eight, which is this one, will join to that. So I'm gonna cut that, join those two together, and then pin these other two, 15 and 20, I think it was. I've got to join them together and join them to where pin eight was. And that is it for the ignition module. The very last wiring mod I'm gonna do this first plug here, the boost control. That orange, uh, the orange stripe, white wire, goes back to the ECU. Black plug, and it goes there. It's on the black plug, see that orange wire? Orange stripe, sorry, on the white. That is the wrong one for the um, boost control solenoid. Where it should go is to pin 19. Pin 19 is there. Third cable down, that right hand side, on mine it's black and yellow. So what I need to do, cut that and cut the orange wire that I've got here from belling out. Now it's important here to cut one of these two long lot. Then when they lie down, they'll nicely join together. And that will mean that the correct cable going to the driver side boost solenoid is going to the correct input or output on the uh, WRX STI ECU.